once again and welcome to Midweek Connect from Elim Church Romsey. My name's Dave Walker. My title today, over the next seven or eight minutes, for what I want to share with you is, Wow, Look What I've Found. Have you ever had something which means so much to you that you've got to get at all costs. If you don't get it, your life's going to be over. It means so much. You've told people you're going to get it and you just want it. And you think, if I have this thing, my life will be complete. And in a moment, I want to share some verses of scripture with you. But when I was young, probably when I was about 16 or 17, I had a desire to be famous either as a pop star or as an actor based in Hollywood. And I, would, I wasn't a Christian at the time, and so I didn't know anything about the Bible or certainly not much about it. But I used to buy, remember the news of the world, that awful newspaper? I used to get it on a Sunday, and I used to look at the, the celebrity bits um, showing photographs of Hollywood stars in, in, in Los Angeles and what they were doing, what films they were in and things like that. And I would think at any cost, I have got to live in Hollywood and be famous. However I was going to get out there wasn't, uh, wasn't important, but I had to do it because only then would my life be complete or so I thought. Thankfully, I, many years later, I, um, my life took a different turn. Well, I'll mention that in a moment. But here's a passage of scripture I want to share with you. This is, it's actually three very short parables, very close together. Matthew 13, 44 to 52. The parable of the hidden treasure, verse 44 onwards. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. The parable of the pearl of great value, verses 44, 45 to 46. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who on finding one pearl of great value went and sold all that he had, all that he had and bought it. And the parable of the net, verse 47 onwards. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. When it was full, men drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the good into containers but threw away the bad. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come down and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place, there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And those final verses are a little bit stringent, but I'll explain that in a moment. But there's this treasure, this desire to uh, uh, find something that was so great that is summed up here. And it was, that's, that's basically what happened with me. When I was young, I thought I, if I could just get um, famous and be in Hollywood, then I'll be happy. The other week I found the perfect sandwich. There's a sandwich shop in Romsey where I live. And I'm, I'm not going to mention the name of it, but it's a very famous one, beginning with the letter R. And I went in there and I found, uh, it's on Italian focaccia bread, I hope I pronounced that properly, and a chicken and bacon focaccia roll. I went and bought one the other week, it was about £4, a bit expensive, but it was delicious, it was absolutely fantastic. So I wanted one the following day and I went and the sandwiches weren't, um, weren't out yet. They, they, they were not out. They, uh, I was too early. But I wanted to get, not too late either, in case when they were put out, that famous sandwich, that lovely sandwich that I wanted was gone. I put every effort into getting there at the right time. And of course, I got it. So I had a similar attitude about going to go to Hollywood and be famous. Well, thankfully, that never never happened. I found something greater. And that's summed up in the final passage of Scripture. Um, again, the, the, um, that I wrote, read earlier, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. When it was full, men drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the good in containers, but threw away the bad. And of course, this treasure that Jesus is hinting at 
is him. It's the kingdom of heaven. It's the gospel. It's his answer for mankind. In fact, another passage of scripture, John 10, 9 says, I am the gate. I am the treasure. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. And a few months later, from wanting to be famous in Hollywood, I found Jesus Christ as my Lord and Saviour. I found that pearl that was in the field. I found that treasure. I was no longer seeking something to make my life better or happy because I found happiness. And yes, God provided a wife for me and a job and a ministry and other things, but all of those things are out of the main pearl. Remember the U2 song? Uh, um, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I have found what I'm looking for. I really have. And that person is Jesus Christ. And as a Christian, we can get it wrong, you know. I remember my, my, my conversion, walking through an Asda car park, December 1986, after accepting Jesus Christ as my Lord and Saviour, looking in the ahead, looking in the distance, thinking, I'm going to live for eternity. I'm going to go to heaven and have a unique individual relationship with God. But it's not because of anything I have done. It's because Jesus Christ died on the cross to pay the price for my sins and provided forgiveness for me. And I have to accept that and follow Jesus. And that is finding that great treasure. Quite often, as a Christian, we can get it wrong. We can think, oh yeah, I'm a Christian. But listen, don't ever stop seeking after that tremendous pearl. Put Jesus first. Matthew 22, 37 to 39 said, says this, Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. Why are you seeking after other things as a Christian? If you, if you want to build up your ministry or get recognition, do it out of what God's done through you. I've largely kept away from the Christian celebrity uh, circuit, and I could have done it. I'm 54 years old. I could have done lots of things um, to advance my ministry outside of my church, and I'm just not interested in that. I'm paid a price to pastor a group of people, and that is what, some, that is what I want to do. But more than that, more, more importantly than that, I, I, I can uh, tell you that I have found what I'm looking for, and that thing is Jesus Christ. I've got one illustration to read to you now, and then we'll close in prayer. An American tourist in Paris who bought an expensive amber necklace on a trinket ship was shocked when he had to pay a quite high duty on it to clear customs to New York. This aroused his curiosity, so he had it appraised. After looking at the object under a magnifying glass, the jeweler said, I'll give you $25,000 for it. Greatly surprised, the man decided to have another expert examine it. When he did, somebody else offered him $10,000 more. What do you see that's so valuable about this old necklace, said the man. Looking through the glass, replied the jeweler. There before his eyes was an inscription from Napoleon Bonaparte to to Josephine. Wow, the value of the necklace came from its identification with a famous person. And let me tell you something, the, the greatest value you could find is Jesus Christ, but also your identification with him. And, and have you found what you're looking for? If you haven't, seek after Jesus. If you're following, if you're following Jesus, continue to seek him and seek his will and seek his glory every day. Don't run after things that will make you miserable. God bless you and uh, join us on Sunday for um, Father's Day. We look forward to seeing you at Elim Church Romsey, uh, 10.30 a.m. And also we're here at 6.30 p.m. But thank you very much for joining us today and, and hearing about the, the greatest treasure you could ever have. And um, God bless you, and we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you.